Welcome to your Research Business Daily Report, sponsored by Mobile Posse, the way advertisers, content producers, and wireless carriers proactively reach consumers on their mobile phones. Yesterday we saluted Annie Pettit, and today it's a doff of the cap to John Carroll, the London-based Senior Director of Ipsos Media CT and Chairman of the Media Research Group, whose 2012 conference was held in Monte Carlo a couple of weeks ago. After the sessions, Carroll penned five important media and market research quote-unquote truths for Research Live, and he didn't mince words. Carroll called for a social media metrics quote-unquote reality check, pointing out that 15% of the population regularly uses social media, that's only 15%, and that means that available data does not entirely relate the whole truth. Next, Carroll said big data may be gobs of information collected via web or mobile analytics, but in the end, it's still just data. And he emphasized, quote, the two worlds of survey and server data make uneasy bedfellows. Survey data counts people. Server data counts machines, end of quote. Carroll admitted hating the term big data, though he knows it's not going away anytime soon. So instead, he wants us to terminate the use of big numbers and instead do, quote unquote, some big thinking. Carroll asserted that British media researchers need to expand their focus well beyond the geographic lines of London. The UK doesn't begin and end there. And from the U.S. perspective, the same is true outside our major metros. Carroll's fourth point was, I think, his most revolutionary. He said we should stand firm against market forces that are pushing ever more rapid decision-making from fast web and social media data. Quote, I believe the time frame of judgment on performance is artificially shortening, stated Carroll. Quick data does not necessarily make good data, end of quote. And finally, Carroll diagnosed new skills he says need to be on research teams. And he said the people there need to be data scientists, data fusion experts, data quality controllers, and data visualization designers. The onus on research and insight teams he closed is still very much to identify and verify the truth from data. Moving on, The Economist published the top 10 global trends for business leaders to focus on in 2013, and I think it merits our attention because five of the 10 all but escort businesses to their respective research departments for assistance. These relative trends are one, the intensity of social everything, two, building participation in the process of personalizing the value of products and services, three, expanding personal mobility and dealing effectively with it. Four, achieving results in critical BRIC countries. And five, developing competitive advantage from knowledge and information. Now, clearly, there's an absence of novelty in those five. So the real question is, how much short-term funding that leads to action will we see from businesses on these fronts in the next year or two? Long-term, those are business survival givens. That's your Research Business Daily Report, sponsored by Mobile Posse. Have a great research day and join us again tomorrow.